Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with Narf. Tick, 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 tick. Chop, 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 chop. It's really easy. All right. Um, nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom. Oh, we have some wild rices. Okay. We must have got them here. Oh, we only have one pickled mushroom left. This is our last uh, pickled mushroom. Oh, no. Um. Yeah, we, we better anyway. hope we get it. Nope. Nope. Plus four ego, though. Plus four ego, though. That's not bad. It is not bad. But I actually do think that we'd have some better recipes for running around in the tomb, probably. Let's see if I can find one. I was going to say, um, like, oh, you were inspired. It might have been. Wait, that's silly. Whenever you teleport. I just thought about this with a displacer bracelet. Oh, God. Does it count as teleporting? I think so. Wouldn't you run out I of I mean, years? electromagnetic pulse is bad, right? Oh. But, like, if we had something else that was whenever you teleport, that might be kind of funny to Hulk, test. Hulk honey in Yonder Cane. Yeah. Like, whenever you teleport, you gain plus eight strength. That would be pretty cool. Actually, yeah, let's do this. Just get some plus strength. Get us a nice recipe for wandering the tombs. Uh, set us a checkpoint. And uh, I kind of teased that we would maybe drink another Neutron Flux, or not Neutron Flux, Brain Brine. Uh, but we're not going to, I don't think, because our Ego mod is getting lower than I care to. The idea that I was having is that we could potentially... Oh, actually, can't we can't raise horns, but we can raise double muscle. Amazing. And it will actually... And it'll pop. give us another strength, yeah. We should also spend some skill points. Yeah, since we did just get plus three in, we got a ton of skill points. So, uh, Tinker 3 is definitely on the menu. Snake Oiler is definitely on the menu. What? Do we really... Ah! Do we really care what? about Snake Oiler at this point? Uh, I mean, everything that was 1900 would have been, like, 1400. Mm, okay. Right? Okay. I think, I think we definitely grab those. We don't really care because we're in the tomb. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think did. Fitted with Suspensers is probably best to grab. Any? Actually, no, it was Fitted with... Was it Fitted with Suspensers that... We had a... Oh, Badal. Oh, my Badel. God. That was so long ago now. I forgot about that. Filters. Fitted with filters. Oh, we have flex Flexi Weave. We do. Gonna now we can in all these things. Gigantic cracked tube. Oh, we can also read this before we turn it in. Shoemaker. Um, now I'm actually curious. Hmm. Wait, what is fitted with suspensors? Wait, what? Nanon is on gun? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Did not realize that. You might have said that. Oh. I have found I'm debating out. though, because like if we get shot by our friends, then we lose pens, an arm, and we lose an arm. Just don't get shot by your friends. That's hard to do in this game. <laughs> I was just thinking about Nanon, Eigen pistol. Okay, we with, need to remember to go back for our pistol with beam splitter. Our plus agility pistol. Just, just to make it. Well, we can't mod that. No, we can't. But. You're being attacked by the shoot. Oh, these are slimes that are like melting through the floor. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of money, even if you don't end up using the brain brine. Yep. I mean, we could, we could use all those brain brains, but it might be more fun to try to go the other way around, which is to like get a bunch of items that give mental mutations and then go farm up some psychic hunters for more ego so that we can drink more brain brain. It seems, uh, it seems like a lot of work, TBH. It is. That's oh, we grabbing. didn't know this one. Also, what is our weight capacity? God damn. While traveling around the scientist districts of Tarad, Ixermaster the Fourth lost control of his chariot and drove it off a cliff. Fortuitously, a group of nearby apes came to his rescue. Huh. We we were at Tirad. Pretty sure. Yeah, I, I also agree that we were there. Where is the Vanta? All over the place. Come on. Uh. <laughs> All right. We explored that tile. Let's go one more north. More garbage. I mean, we're hitting crypt ferrets for 108, so, you know. Something about Jopa. A man dug up the ancestors of Jopa, apparently. 
I think we've learned all the normal secrets or something, probably. Nope. There was one. Transverse Precinct Mopur. Oh, it's definitely must... giving us some randomly generated gossip now. Is that what happens when you learn all the ruin stuff? When you start learning more and more of them, the chances of that oh my God. get better, yeah. Is that good or bad in general? Uh, I don't know. Good This God. is just the brain brain run. Wow, something. That's that, heavy. That's not brain brain. Yeah, something that wasn't brain brain. Oh, look, something that is brain brain. I'm telling you, I, I think it's just like melted soup of, of brain. Distilled oh, brain. You know what would be messed up? Okay, let's, Ooh. let me... Come on, give it to me. <laughs> wow, very puzzling. Super puzzling pistol. Wait. What? Why, why did I equip that in my glow sphere hand? That's what I want to know. I think you're... Maybe they shot it out of your hand. Right hand pistol. <laughs> Still, do you have a chair? You have so many chairs. We have a collection of chairs. Come on, this is what the the, the prophecy okay, is going right. to be fulfilled here. This is the one time that this is actually going to pay off. No, come no. on. I mean, I think at this point, we just let it be and wait until we cook with the uh, recipe. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm coming around to your brain brine theory. Hear me out. Yeah. I think it would be the most delightful irony of all time if the source of mutations, mutants in general, were actually from the true kin. That maybe like having a, like, here, here's the thing, right? The true kin, the eaters were, were locked away um, clearly there's mechanisms in place to make sure they stay in their tomb, right? Um, mm -hmm. Implying that they were a danger, seen to be a danger uh, to the world. And we right, know that- I'm with you. We know that the gyre was a huge thing. Um, mm -hmm. I think that maybe part of the danger of the gyre was that it was kind of like melting their DNA in a sense, or like mutating it. Um, okay. Some people turned into mutants, and then the rest were locked away. And even though they were locked away and like quotation marks revered as being mm -hmm. like, okay, these are the ones that we're going to accept where they just never became, you know, we, I see no evil, whatever, hear no evil. They're still true kin. Mm -hmm. They're still totally fine. They still got gyred and they still turned into goo. And the goo is the brain brine. They, they basically turned into pure mutant juice. All right. So the best irony ever would be that the true kin are actually the origins of the mutants. It would make sense why they hate them so much. What it? I feel like it's it's like total hypocrisy. How can you hate mutations? Because it's like the distilled essence of the rotting thing you find to be like yourself. Your I suppose right? that's true. I see it the I other way I was just way interested around. in that mannequin because it was purple. Yeah, I guess it would be like very fitting for you know zealots even at the time i mean like they, they were they were sultans you know they're they're basically the kings of the realm and so everyone's like well they're, they can't possibly be corrupted we're gonna like base our entire society around who is true kin and who is not and make sure that you know becoming nooks don't ever give anything to anyone who isn't completely pure of blood and all of this bs mm -hmm. um when in fact, like, given any kind of open-mindedness, it's like, oh, well, okay, the, the sultans are changing. They're, some of them are becoming mutants and the rest are melting in the goo. Wouldn't we want to keep the ones that are uh, still around? Wouldn't we want to, uh, you know, don't we still want a king in power? But they're like, nah, lock them away, it's fine. Of course, we know how they died in theory, or at least that's what's written on the statues, is they all died of natural causes. But I mean, maybe that just means they they got the gyre. Oops, got gyred. And then there's Reshef, right? So how does that fit into it? It's a good question. Going by this theory, and I'm not going to spoil any Reshef lore, but it does raise some questions.
Apparently, it is now my mission to kill lag root. <laughs> we do get a lot of lag in theory. That would be funny if lag root caused lag. Whoa. Okay, first of all, Enigma Cone. What? Why is it plus? Why is it four AV? Why is it four AV? I thought that the. Uh, and that's an Enigma Cone. I guess. What is the other one? Enigma Helmet? I don't know. Because Galen's got the, got the Enigma Helmet or whatever it was called, and it's only two AV. Yeah, that goes on the body. What? What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, come on. What are we wearing on our back? Like wings the, that we barely use. The yeah. wings are good, but that's better. Yeah, I agree. Ain't no way we're passing up freaking. We'll see if uh, we'll see how long uh, it lets me walk around with that. Ooh, oh, I love the tile for that. That's the first time I've seen that tile. Huh? I mean, it's nice. Yeah, with Nanon. Oh, is that? I thought Nanon was just a percentile chance every time you hit, or is it a percentile chance every time you pen? It's a percentile chance every time you pin, yeah. So your weapon's percentage base effects are three times as likely. Oh, oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought it was just saying you had a better chance and of pinning. And so, like, but then also my dismember. Well, it also gives you a better crit chance. It gives you a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, um... I don't remember what the Triumph of Helmet gave us, though, but... Well, we should definitely have a look. I think it was probably strength. Yeah, it was strength because you're now you're over encumbered. Yeah, plus four strength. Oh, uh, that's really hard to pass up. You know what we're uh, going to have to do, right? A hand, just hand. Lower. Yeah, there. Low, worn on hand. Are we doing it? We can mod it with jacked. Yeah. Six fingered would give it agility and lessen the blow. I think jacked makes the most sense, though. Yeah. I think we aren't doing it now, but we're going to keep it. It just makes sense, I think. I, I kind of like, sucks that it's already lacquered. I almost want to like. Yeah, I don't. I, I guess we don't need the AV, so the drop in AV isn't going to be a big deal. Yeah. Um, the strength kind of sucks. The, losing the strength, four strength. I mean, it is to pen. Like when you look at it that way. Oh, nice. Oh God. Well, all right, hand bones. We dropped those. You got them, didn't you? You picked them up. I did. I mean, that's going to be the new. Oh my god. Another Collider Sarah cape? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. That's probably worth something, too. Yeah, no, it definitely is. They got the good loot on this floor. <laughs> this is where they keep the good stuff. Uh, I just realized you can't polymorphic uh, a face anymore. That one honestly raises so many questions to me. What? Have you tried to polymorphic a face before? No. Oh, it's interesting. I, I I would um, uh, encourage you to try it on our run. Feel free to spoil it for me. Oh, okay. Um, the polymorphic gel actually refuses. Oh, interesting. It beeps and says, no way, Jose. Which to me it ha raises a lot of interesting questions. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, is all of the technology in the world basically like kind of under uh, like an authorita authoritative command. It kind of implies like like all tech at, at some point there is a higher uh, a higher tier of, of authority over it. Clump of grave moss. I every time I look up grave moss, I'm like, oh yeah, and then and then I forget instantly what it does. Mm. Well, yeah, we drop which would work so much. Oh my god, more so oh my. There's god. the cap. Yeah, there's the cap. Yeah. I really love the Enigma cap. It's become my new favorite. My my favorite new weapon or new item. That one might be. These are just too heavy, right? We gotta drop the like, full right bones, both of them. Uh, I won't. I won't peer pressure you into turning your dreadroot tubers into salves, seeing as we never use them. Yeah, I don't think we really need them right now either. Pretty yeah, sure grave root, hand bones are down on the grave. Uh, grave goods are not worth it, really. I think you can sell them, and they're worth like okay amount. Yeah, but I mean the. If you can sell them and they're worth an okay amount, then trust what the uh, the dropping mod is giving me, right? Because it's based on the value of the item, so... Might want to treat those as... Ah, oh. uh, true. No. I know this Nano Weave is worth, like, 300, but... We gotta kill all the lag root. Die, lag root! Take care of the Crypt Ferrets. This place is so much more peaceful without the 
the bell. Oh, was there an alchemist there or something? Something just had a big boom. Was that neutron flux? It might have been neutron flux. Yeah, I don't know. It, it wasn't the right explosion for neutron flux, so no. Oh. Oh, a feathered psychic meridian with filters. Hey, we can give that I to mean, a Beetle. It is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Why in the world would you make spray a brain when a nano neuro animator yeah. exists? Is that a portable rock tumbler? Got to be the best cybernetic. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually legit. Yeah, we've done it again. Yeah, drop them full right hand bones. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have more than one tattoo gun if we it's do. asking us to drop one. Oh, is it? Is it? Is the mod actually that smart? No, just that I think we would have already seen the other tattoo gun, I guess is... Oh, uh, it I'm feeling like it. this one's probably already marked. No, because this was the one it was offering me to disassemble, right? Oh, right. <laughs> really? Are we really going to the trouble of saving two drams of ink? Yeah, dude. Uh... <laughs> As long as we were in here and oh, saving we got some, trouble. Uh, we've got some rough amethyst. We could throw that in our portable rock tumbler. Yeah, right. Or... I think if portable beehive is a thing, we should have a portable rock tumbler. It goes on our back. Yeah, we just have too much fresh water right now. Uh, actually, I want to keep the honey in case we run into a legendary bear. You never know. Yeah. No, we d definitely want that. We're still 14 pounds overweight. Yep. Um... I was hoping there was a preserved fresh, but there wasn't. All right. We, uh, are we hungry? Like, what are, what's our meal right now? Yeah, we could cook, uh, strength. Seems like it's kind of a desperation move, but spray bottle was, oh, come on. We mag hammer. There we go. Easy. I like that some of the, uh, Mopengo have wheels. Yeah. That's really cute. Okay. Continuing uh, this insanity. Rocket skates with cleats. Yeah, that's pretty funny. You can turn on a dime with those. Yep. And it's just like, click. Not even worth taking the thermocell. Wow. We're in the perfect place to farm lava, too. This is true. Uh, I just had one of those, are we going west or east moments? We're going yeah. east. Yeah, we're going east. I thought you said weast. That's what I, uh, I'm, I'm, um, hold on. What's the word? I'm open uh, to commissioning someone to make a mod to change, uh, the mod gigantic to wombo. Psionic. Is that, oh, that's, uh, Pewtis Templar has, like, activated their phylactery. Yeah, I do believe that is a phylactery wreath knight. And that thing is invincible, right? Yes. Okay, we can just walk away. We gotta find the Templar, though. I found out recently that those things are not your friend, uh, you know, necessarily. If you have, or with the one the that activated it. Squire? Yeah. Nope. Oh. Oh, you mean like even if you find one and activate it, it's still not your friend? That's Is right. That what you were trying to say? Yeah. You need to be on good terms with Pewtis Templar. <laughs> I think that's him. Get back here. Yep, there you go. That was him. Nice. You know what my favorite thing to do with uh these is? Was that disassemble them? Yeah, six bit. Just relying on auto attack because we're stupid melee. We, do, we have uh, so much right now. Oh, apparently... Oh, we, we're not disassembling carbines? We might not be. We probably haven't gotten there yet. Ugh. <laughs> if only you could tell the, the crypt sitter, he's like, hey, I actually don't want this. It's an ogre fur cloak. No one wants this. What do we pick up? Oh, grave moss. You might want to turn yeah. harvestry off. Yeah, I think I'm just going to turn harvest off for now. Yeah, like, as you were saying that, I was thinking it <laughs> we also if we make a meal or uh preserve our goods we could probably get rid oh there it is there's a good one yeah that's pretty cool 
It's a variety of dithermal beam. We're just gonna disassemble that. I really like the dithermal beam. It is cool. I love the like idea of it. It's just fun. Yeah, we are not scrapping carbines. Now we are. Okay, that's a seven bit. Let's look at them bef- Let's look at them before we take the seven bit. Micro min. Oh, pretty good. I don't remember if that one's any good. I think it has something to do with uh, tinkering. I don't know. I mean, and I, I meant in terms of trade goods. That's a seven uh, I don't bit. Know. We'll find out. Yep. <laughs> Fitted with cleats. Fitted with cleats. Anti gravity boots with cleats. Yeah, you're cleating on the ceiling. Just for that extra traction. The Trukin were really big fans of. Of traction. Of upside down baseball. So you think this is like the Trukin place? Is that not what the eaters were? I mean, well, the sultans are not the eaters. This right? is the this tomb is where of the, the sultans. Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's called Tomb of the Eaters. I can't imagine. And we get a bunch of cybernetics. I, I feel like the sultans were like, I wouldn't say okay. the eaters, but like the ultimate eaters. There's another nano neuro animator. It's pretty good. Uh, but I believe our second one will be a uh, seven bit. Dermal plating, probably also not worth taking. No, yeah, super not. Yeah, it's going to immediately have me drop it. I'm just too much of a pack rat to, to not pick <laughs> everything up and then drop it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. Nice. Just Six missing. Feet. It's just missing scoped. They have some pretty classy stuff in here, you know. The, the eaters had good taste. Oh, we got darkness here. Stasis grenades. Okay, we can treat these as scrap. Freeze rays we can treat as scrap. Yep. No, oh, I love you. It's sad, Ray. but it's sad, but we can treat them as scrap at this point. We, I mean, if we're not going to use a dithermo beam, we're definitely not using a freeze ray. Hmm. I think there's a uh, there's a lot of crypt ferrets in this level. <laughs> They're still giving you XP. Yep. More. I mean, it is the tomb. It, it is kind of the highest level area. I would have thought that would be the moonster at this point. Ooh. Yeah, moonster is a little higher, but that's actually really fun. Yeah. I mean, we. I don't. I do not recommend yeah. you pick that up. But no, I'm not going to. But. It's pretty fun. Snail Encrusted got to be one of my favorite mods. That might also not be worth picking up, but I'm going to. Well, you've got another the, 20 let pounds. Let the tool tell me. I, I love the tomb. It's like, it's like, um, I don't know if you've ever been to like a in-house kind of garden terrarium. Yeah. Uh, but like. One of my favorite places in uh, Toronto is called Allen Gardens, and the Tomb of the Eaters gives me like a lot of that vibes. It's just like it's if it wasn't for all of the stuff that could probably kill any normal person, it'd be the nicest, chillest place to hang out. Little benches, yeah. little gardens all over the place. Love it. It was a Sultan Croc. Thank God we're on good terms with the unshelled reptiles. Where did the crypt fairy go? Whatever. Chain laser emplacement. Lol. We're on good terms. I do not trust any of that. Oh, it instantly exploded. Thank goodness for the thermo traps. I know that the I know that the Tomb of the Eaters is denser, but I still feel like Bethesda Sousa is a longer dungeon. Uh, this is probably true, but like, when do you really kind of start your count on the tomb? I guess, right? Uh, as soon like, as you if you include the whole like Golgotha 2.0 section. Right, the crematory, then like you have two areas of nine floors each. Well, the like, um, Golgotha 2.0 is only three, I'd say, because you're yeah. not going to see all, all nine of it. You're going to you're going to sprint through that for sure. And similarly for the bottom floor, you're not going to see all of that. I mean, we did, but 
most of the time i think most people would like sprint through that as soon as they find the staircase they're out <laughs> this is how i do the he dance the rocket dance oof we already knew that little bit of history we must be at the end of this we'll be filling in the gaps of like all of the rest of the history yeah i think we might have had it all no <laughs> is this what you do when you're at your favorite place you just run around and weed the whole garden yeah I, I i like punch flowers mm -hmm. I, I with your horn i honestly choke slam cactuses <laughs> okay just lol <laughs> woolly spring loaded flawless christy heck yeah oh well right. that's nice Love it was worth it. doing the full clear of all the uh oh yeah i mean yeah. okay what is that high energy thermocast how come we didn't know what that was uh because it's high energy oh. i think i don't know we disassemble those probably disassemble handrail too we must be at the end like where's our staircase? yeah i think that was our last one okay so we went that way okay oh there's there's more there's there's a, there is more <laughs> all right let's bring out the boys let them do their thing with the, you know, swirly disc of doom that I'm going to talk over because it's hilarious to me. <laughs> I, so appreciate, just... I appreciate you working with the new tech. This is good. Yeah. It's hard to remember to talk, though. Yeah, same. Oh, okay. Engraved type chiral rings. Ooh. That's Rush Floor. You can find out about that by playing Rush. Yeah, yeah. So good. We'll disassemble <laughs> that. While we're in the Tomb of the Eaters, possibly the most spoilery part of the game. Yeah, yeah. You can find I mean, if that. someone didn't want spoilers, they probably would have paid attention to the fact that I was kind of being all like, well, there's kind of some spoilers here. <laughs> Do you spoiler your, uh, you mark them? What do you mean? Like, do you mark episodes on spoiler content? Like, this has some um, quest spoiler content? I don't, but I am, like, kind of vague. Like, I'll, I'll write on the title Tomb of the Eaters. yeah. yeah. Um, if it's like, a, if I'm doing a major dungeon, I'll like, yeah, Tomb of the Eaters. This is the Tomb of the Eaters episode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm also very vague in, uh, the description because I don't want to accidentally spoil something in the description either. Yeah. Like, um, I basically labeled the attack on Gritgate, the attack on Redacted in keeping with yeah tradition at this point. All right. I think that is it. That is it. Pla polished black marble. There's our stairs. Yep. Now, are we going to tattoo ourselves at this point, or are we going to fight? I want to see. I'm just going to set the checkpoint. I want to see how nasty this will be. I think it's going to be extremely nasty. I think this is just going to murder us, but we'll see. I don't know. Could be a toss-up. It really depends on what kind of thing we fight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, definitely there's a few things that could tear us apart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like with this. we're on good terms with well, that's a tree cherub. I don't think I've ever seen a tree cherub. Plus ten intelligence. Attacks discharge clockwork beetles. Oh god. Uh, I mean, uh, certainly um if you threw out temporal fugue, this it'll trivialize us somewhat, I think. Mm. You don't think so? Oh See this? shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean Ow. Six. That's and then presumably it would have gone on cooldown. Yeah. But cooldowns are broken right now, so we're going to not. Uh, can you proselytize them? Might be able to. Uh, ow. Yeah, I do think they will catch us here. Well, okay, here's the thing. Can we, like... I also think that... Okay, no. I was worried that... Throwing up the disc was going to yeah. lose it. You can't, you can't, definitely can't turn your brain off for this fight, but we have the tools. We could definitely, oh, how did we do that? Oh. was fun. Did they reflect it back at us? Yeah. Uh, um, we get like the way I usually get through cherubs is I make a bunch of freeze grenades and then just like take it real slow. Yep. Fight one of them at a time. I mean, you're taking four cherubs on at once and not dying. I I think that's pretty impressive to me. Why are we overburdened? Oh, we're famished. We lost our strength. 
well um what a terrible night for a curse uh, it could be that uh our sphere of negative weight is switching between plus 10 and negative 10 a bunch Don't. which is why at some point i kind of hate even carrying it i think i'm just gonna disassemble it oh, wow okay i mean our strength is so high yeah certainly that's a choice in the middle of this fight though i mean it needed to happen yeah we needed to move it was 10 pounds are these robots um, or are they just cherubs? I think they're just cherubs. We didn't look at the flowers, did we? Ice breath. Okay. Um, mm, nope. Yeah. Which one is almost is hurt the most? We should probably try and kill something. Fine. Injured. Below you. What was that? Menacing stare, just in case. Uh, and I mean, we might as well try to proselytize one of them. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. That'll help a lot, actually. Yeah. I also forgot that we have this. What? Discharge. Oh, yeah. We, you're not frozen? Good lord. Salve. Yeah, it's probably salve time. Got enough of them. Like I said, this is going to be super spicy. Walking through here without tattooing yourself is... uh. Definitely hard mode at this point. This deep in. We're almost through that tree. 1000 XP. That seems like not a lot, honestly. Are we going to keep the uh, plant? Seems like a good idea. They, they got to be yeah. one of the best friends we could have. Oh, extra mask lore. Oh, we did note some lore in extra moss. Um, we want some we want some more strength. Are we inspired? We are. You want to do some more um, mirror dust? Yeah, actually, I was thinking even maybe throwing in... Uh, why can I not think of it now? The Joy. The Joy. Voider? No, no, no. Mashlag. Mashlag. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. No, mm, yeah, okay. Ah, oh, heck yeah. There it is. The perfect recipe. That's pretty dope. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Me. Oh yeah, whenever you reflect damage, there's a 100% chance you gain. Okay, that bottom one is actually pretty good too. Yeah. But um, it doesn't give you the reflect, it just... Yeah. Yeah. No, that middle one's amazing. That was the... the what What is this dance? Jacked eigenpixel. <laughs> and it's going so fast, like I can't even see it. <laughs> is that ours? Yeah, uh, that's why that's why it was locked on it is that it couldn't pick it up. So uh, at midnight under a rare and scarlet sky, the people of Tara saw an image on the horizon that looked like a quill bathed in scarlet. The Zixer mask, and after she came and left Tar, the people built a monument to her, and thenceforth called her Quill and Scarlet. I like Quill and Scarlet. Pay homage to Ixer Mosp, friend to historians, and savior of Urinup, who led an army to its gates and chopped it into small pieces. It's perdiferous magistrates that is not perfidious magistrates perfidious. the people of city the city touched the stellarly ellipsoid in celebration <laughs> chanted ixermasp's name and renamed urinip to ixermasp city in her honor wow the year of the courageous hold ixermasp triumphed over the astral kinfolk who ser segregated themselves to form the shrine sphere let the data Corruption of inquisitive quagmire serve as a testament to the power of Ixer Mosp and a warning to those who would provoke her. There it is. Was that one due? Oh. You see that, like, near the bottom one, right under quickness? Plus one to all mutation levels. Yep. Yeah. Uh, negative 200 reputation with arachnids and frogs, though. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you see why I draw a Kessel face now? Yeah. Is that the one you're taking? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. I forget how I take it. You just take it, I thought. It said, it just told me that there was something that... Oh, it's because uh, your cherub friend picking. is still alive. That's why. Oh, it's because the cherub is still alive. Yeah, yeah. The two mural... The, should we read the rest of these? Sure. All right. In the Winter Aramites, I skipped one somewhere in there, but sorry. Ixermos derived her descendancy from the fossilized sods who are known for v venerating historians. By pure right, she ousted the pretender sultan who had prohibited venerating historians in favor of core <laughs> worship and crowned herself sultan of Kud. She was 104 years old. 
On the anniversary of a great battle, a historian found a babe with an inquisitive scroll in each hand outside her college. She and her fellow historians adopted the babe and named her Ixermas. Is that the very first Ixermas name? Yeah. Wow. Roused by a cherished miniature glacier cooled on the void peaks of the early universe, Ixermas visited her college and authored an account. She named it Friend of Glacier, which I think we have. Yeah. Well, we did. Well, we anyway. sold it to... No, I think we still have a quest to find Gr Glacier Friend. I think it's one of the few right. we don't have. Let's uh, set checkpoint here and just beat our friend up. Yep. That was a good start. Taking on one by one. Oh, I guess they're not even attacking you. Yeah. They were killed by you. What? Oh, yeah. We just need another one of those. Yep. Darn. Yeah, try the polymorphic on it. Oh, just to just waste to... a polymorphic? No, it won't. Or does it, it won't. not even use it? Yeah, I don't think it uses it. All right, so you say thank right there, so that that made me hit checkpoint anyway. We're still <laughs> puzzled by this pistol. What's this weird artifact? It's a very puzzling pistol. Oh, shit. You broke it. I wonder how much it costs to repair. Oh, whatever it is, it's broken. Um, Equipment. No, inventory. Applicators. Metamorphic. Yeah, poly. Can I wear it while I'm wearing it? No, unless it's further down. Nope. Oh. Uh. This is gonna be gonna be a pain in the ass. Sorry. Apply. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's just so cool. That, that does bring up some questions, right? Yeah. What are we gonna wear on our other face? Um, this might be a good moment to stop, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because we're gonna be fighting more cherubs and then eventually uh, doing the big spoiler reveal at the end here. So, uh, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button, consider subscribing, and uh. Throw your castle face in chat, I guess.